Hello everybody! I will be using about 8 pieces of the Jenga blocks here and to attach them together I am using a wood glue. This craft, everybody, this is bluer than blue. <laughs> what I meant is I will be using uh, more on the blue color. So this is, um, I will be using this uh, folk art mellow mocha to paint this wooden box from I don't know if this wood, wooden box or wooden crate from Dollar Tree. I will mix first. After I painted it with the Mellow Mocha, I'm going to mix the Spackle and the Mellow Mocha as well. Folk art. Then I will start to just apply it onto this piece. And the reason why I'm doing that because I want to just uh, cover all those spaces between in between the uh, Jenga blocks. And now... I will also do that to this piece using my fingers again and then I will dry it. Once it's dry, I will start to sand it. And I will uh, use these popsicle sticks they're small they're actually from walmart because i really don't i want it really very detailed and i want this very strong and i i couldn't just trust the wood glue there because uh, i did not try it overnight and what i'll do here is i will paint this piece with the waverly antique because once i wipe off the excess paint it will create an antique finish so you can see that after i wipe this with a piece of tissue i'll do the same thing to this box i just painted a little bit of the inside of this box then now i wipe it off with a piece of tissue paper So once this is finished, I will sand it again and it shows the sparkle. You can see the sparkle now, a little bit of the sparkle. So it's a different kind of finish and that is what I would want to come up with in this craft. Almost everything that I use here are colored blue. I'm just in the mood to use that, but it's optional. You can use any color of your choice. I'm just uh, showing you how I made this. Then I have this. So you can see on the video that I'm going to make a um, wheelbarrow. And um, I will be using this wooden wagon wheel. I got that actually from factory direct i i just cannot forget you can search that online for a uh, wooden uh, wagon wheel and then i will glue this piece another tumbling blocks there on the sides to make this stand now i have this waverly ivory i will paint this piece this is five and a half by seven and a half. I got this from Dollar Tree as well. I will only apply one coat. Then I have this very nice napkin, decorative napkin. I got this from Amazon, I think. And I will apply this piece with Mod Podge. I have to see to it that it's thinly and evenly applied, just one coat, and then I'll decoupage this napkin. So this napkin has a little of a grayish color, um, a little of uh, blue. It's a very nice color of napkin. Now I'm using the parchment paper to just flatten it and smooth it. Then I'll do the same thing to this side and onto the other side as well. And as you can see, I am using a fan brush to do that. I really love fan brush, especially when I apply Mod Podge. It's really very safe to use. And once I'm going to seal the, 
the napkin it's safe it's not gonna tear the napkin so i do the same thing on the other side as well and once it's dry i will also sand it then i am using the parchment paper to smooth the napkin this is a gator uh, sander i got this from amazon so i sand the sides it's only that part that I will put the napkin. Then using this, I am sorry ladies, this is not bare dark antique wax. I'll take it. This is, it's my bad. This is Jolie finishing wax black top coat that I got from Amazon. So using this folk art Parisian gray, I will match this with the color of the napkin. I will paint those sides there. I will say it again, it is Jolie per, um, Finishing Wax Black Top Coat from Amazon. So now I already glued this wheelbarrow there. I put the um, floral foam, I just glued it and then I will cover it with the Spanish moss. Aside from covering this, it will also make this look real. So now I am starting to uh, arrange some flowers there i put blue because i really am in the mood to put blue flowers there but this is optional again like i said you can use any color of flowers of your choice for this craft then i have this antique pail um, i got this from an antique store i am not going to paint this or make this rustic because this is really antique so I put the floral foam, I put the uh, Spanish moss, and then I put three eggs there and a bird, which is blue. So this is a blue craft, but this is really very pretty craft. I love this. Then I will glue this piece onto that side there. That's why I put the wheelbarrow on an angle. Then on the other side, I have this white uh, spool. This is also from Antique Store. It, it still has the tag or the mark of an antique that it was really long time ago, an old spool. I put also another bird there. Then I will put this message. This one is optional. Whatever message you're going to put there, it's all up to you. So if you like this uh, craft, Please go to my main page, please click the like, and please give me a follow. So you will be notified whenever I go live, and you will be updated with my future reels and craft. Again, I'm using the Jolie Finishing Wax Black Top Coat that I got from Amazon. So such a very pretty craft. I just love it. It's a very cute gift to your loved ones. So that's the finished craft, everybody. You can see the message there with the three birds. I think it's little birdie told me. Once little birdie told me. I, I couldn't I I couldn't remember. I'm just editing this. <laughs> late, so late editing. So thank you all so much again, everybody. I hope you like this craft. Oh, a little birdie told me. So that's the message there. You can... Choose whatever message you like. So you can see it's all blue. I love this craft and I hope you love it as well. So this is the finished craft, everybody. I hope you're going to make your own. Thank you and till next time, friends.